After spending weeks at Memorial Health, Caitlin Jensen was transferred to the Shepherd Center right here in Atlanta. That's where I caught up with her mom, Darlene. I try not to look too far ahead because that can be very overwhelming. Every morning we get up, we pick an outfit, we get dressed for the day, we get to work, we do the therapy, you know, and it goes by quite quickly. The days kind of fly by, honestly. Since June 16th, Darlene and her daughter Caitlin have been living day by day. She went to a chiropractor and they did a neck manipulation that resulted in four arteries being dissected, which caused m multiple strokes to happen in her brain and then caused her to go into cardiac arrest. Um, she went, that happened when she was at the emergency room. And so here we are now. After spending weeks at Memorial Health, in early August, Caitlin was accepted into the Shepherd Center in Atlanta. There's a lot to deal with for her now. It's been a really big transition for her coming out of ICU and that isolation and then coming into a rehab setting is very, very different. Caitlin is undergoing speech, occupational, physical, and recreational therapy, and she's progressing faster than anyone thought. I credit her a great deal for her attitude. I think that her positive spirit and attitude has really helped a lot. One thing that was amazing to see was the video, um, gosh, probably a week or two now, of Caitlin saying mom for the first mm -hmm. time. Mom. <laughs> it was beautiful, yeah. It means the most because it means so much to her. Mom. She wants to speak so badly and she's working at it so hard. You're doing it. That is your voice, Caitlin. That is your voice. Since the accident, Darlene has been out of work by Caitlin's side every day. That's why the family has turned to GoFundMe to ease the burden of mounting medical bills. Since our first report on Caitlin, thousands of people have donated more than $100,000. We've been blown away by the support and very appreciative because we do have a very long road ahead of us and it helps to know that those funds are there for her needs because we don't even know what all of her needs are going to be yet. I mean, it's we're still very early in this. I mean, it hasn't even been three months yet. And there is still a long road to recovery for Caitlin. If you'd like to support, we posted the links to her GoFundMe on our website, WJCL.com. In Atlanta, I'm Andy Cole, WJCL 22 News. A powerful story there.